Welcome to HTML and CSS for Python developers. In this course, you'll have an introduction to HTML, learn how to enhance your HTML document, learn about HTML links and images. You'll have an introduction to CSS, learn about the importance of separation of concerns, and finally learn about CSS class selectors. If you're interested in web development with Python, then knowing HTML and CSS will help you understand web frameworks like Django and Flask. Even if you're just getting started with Python, HTML and CSS will allow you to create small websites to impress your friends. This is your final goal, an HTML and CSS website that includes a little about yourself, external links to your favorite websites, navigation, and a gallery page with images. Put together with the HTML and CSS you will learn in this course. In the next lesson, you will gain an introduction to HTML. In this lesson, you will have an introduction to HTML. Think of any website you've recently visited. No matter what kind of website it was, you can bet that its source code has a basic HTML tag at the beginning. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. The hypertext part refers to building connections between different HTML pages. With hyperlinks, you can jump between pages and surf the web. You use markup to structure content in a document. The markup defines the meaning of content and not how it looks. Writing semantic HTML code will make your document accessible. This will allow everyone to consume your content, whether they're visiting your page with a browser or using a screen reading tool. For each HTML element, there's a standard that defines its intended use. Today, the standards of HTML are defined by the Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group. Approximately 95% of websites use HTML, so it's great to know if you want to do any web development work with Python. But enough of the theory. Let me show you how HTML looks in practice in the next lesson. You can head over to your code editor to create your first HTML document. To start things off, you can create a file named index.html and add some text. So file, new file, index.html. Index.html is typically the name of the first file of your website. This is similar to the main.py or app.py file in your Python projects. Next, you can add a comment. To do a comment in HTML, you do left angle bracket, exclamation point, two dashes, the text that you want, in this case, index.html, two dashes, and right angle bracket to close the comment. Similar to the Python interpreter not executing comments in your Python code, the browser won't render the content of your HTML comment. Next in the space below and outside of the comment, you can write any text that you'd like. M I HTML already. Go ahead and open the index.html file in your browser. You will see the browser displays the text you wrote without complaining. Browsers will always try to render HTML documents, even when the HTML syntax of your document is not valid. Rarely will you see the browser itself show you something like a syntax error, similar to what Python does for invalid code. You can head back over to your editor now to write your minimal valid HTML document. For now, you can remove the text you previously wrote. It'll be added back in later. Start by writing the doc type. So angle bracket, exclamation point, and in all caps, doc type, space, HTML, closing bracket. Any valid HTML file must start with a doc type declaration. What you just wrote specifically tells the browser the document contains HTML5 code and should render the page in standard mode. Now you can write the opening HTML tag. The structure of an HTML tag consists of the tag name enclosed in angle brackets, like HTML. So angle bracket, HTML, angle bracket. Sometimes included is attributes, which provide additional information about the tag. Attributes are written inside the opening tag and are separated by spaces. So within our HTML tag, add a space and type lang equal quotes en. This attribute specifies that the primary language of the document is English. Closing tags are enclosed in angle brackets as well but include a forward slash. So angle brackets, forward slash, HTML, angle bracket. 
and you want your opening and closing tags to line up. This line indicates the start of the HTML document. Next, you can add the head section. Add both opening and closing head tags, angle bracket head, angle bracket for your opening tag, and then go ahead and close off that tag with angle bracket slash head angle bracket. Inside the head section, we have metadata about the document. Let's add the meta tag. Angle bracket meta car set equal quotes UTF dash eight in closing bracket. This tag specifies the character encoding for the document, which is UTF eight, allowing the document to support a wide range of characters from different languages. The head section also includes the title. Write your opening and closing title tags, angle bracket title, and then we want our closing title tag, angle bracket slash title. Inside the title tag, you will add your text, MI HTML already. This sets the title of the web page to MI HTML already. Now you can add the body. You can write the body opening and closing tags. So angle bracket body, and then angle bracket slash body to close that off. And you can drop that down to a new line. Inside the body section, we have the content of the web page. You can add some text. Yes, comma, angle bracket br, angle bracket, I am, exclamation point. The body now contains the text, yes, followed by a line break, the br, and then I am. Sometimes the tag names are abbreviated, like the line break element, br. Once you've familiarized yourself with the structure of your HTML document, reload index.html in your browser and check out how your website looks. You're now displaying the content of your first proper website. There's a good chance that you'll start any web project with a structure like the one that you've built in this section. To save yourself some work in the future, you can save the document you just made as HTML boilerplate or download the HTML boilerplate code from the resources. In the next lesson, you will learn how to enhance your HTML document. In this lesson, you will learn how to enhance your HTML document with content and structure. The only markup that your HTML document has so far is the base skeleton of your website. Now it's time to dive in deeper and structure some real content. To have something to work with, you can follow along with adding the following text to your body. Or add your own text. Hello, comma, world wide web, enter, this is my first website, enter, enter, about me, enter, enter, I'm a Python programmer and a bug collector, enter, enter, links, enter, my favorite websites are colon, enter, enter, realpython.com, python.org, and pypy.org. Now that you've added all this content with Whitespace, you can open the website in your browser to see what it looks like. It seems the browser didn't recognize any Whitespace at all. As a Python developer, you know that Whitespace is a vital ingredient in writing beautiful Python code. The indentation of your Python code makes a difference in how Python executes the code. Without any additional adjustments, browsers collapse multiple spaces line breaks, or indentations to one space character. To format your content differently, you must provide further information to the browser. You can head back over to your editor. In the next lesson, you will learn how to add HTML content and structure.